So, okay, for those who haven't joined our new media workshops, my name is John Villarreal. I am the CEO and founder of Conservative New Media. We are the fastest growing and one of the biggest conservative new media channels out there. We're on YouTube, Facebook, um, not MySpace yet because MySpace is kind of dying, Twitter and the web. We have almost 4 million views in less than 8 months. We are like the 5th or 6th largest conservative channel out there. We've blown away people like all the pundit and other people between me and my uh, little brother in different iterations. We've had about 15 million views on all of our YouTube videos and we have been used by 60 plus media organizations around the world including Fox News, Wall Street Journals, uh, Politico, New York Times, Twice, etc, etc. Yeah, so we are doing some crazy, crazy things. And my own background is I did talk radio, started out in Salt Lake City. My first job in talk radio was on air professionally. I was told by Jack Swanson of KGO KSFO, I used to be on KSFO, uh, that I quote unquote have it, I'm a natural. And I went from t uh, radio to TV. I've been lifelong in politics. I started out at the Republican National Convention in 1988 with a special invite, and then I got a special invite to the inauguration. I've been involved in campaigns ever since too many campaigns to list, and these people were too important up here for me to take any more time. The net net of it is, is when I was approached to do uh, this convention with the California Republicans, I jumped at the chance. I think this is in a really critical year, critical election, and we wanted to have the chance to do something different and bring you guys the firepower and the candidates in a way that you've hopefully never seen before that will be meaningful to you in the voting booth. So with that, I want a quick round of applause for all the candidates here, please. Now, what I'm going to do, because we have quite a few folks here, and so and most of the folks are candidates themselves, some are speaking for the candidates couldn't be here. We have a couple live mics, and I would ask for each of the candidates to please take a minute, minute and a half, say who you are, what you're running for, why you're great, and how people can get involved in your campaign, because we're going to have many, much more time with you, that way we can get into the actual issues, and then just pass the mic down, and let's just get it done. You can start. Um, this is Okay, my name is Kevin Constant. I'm representing John Dennis. He could be here today. He's on a plane back from CPAC. And um, we are running in the 8th District of San Francisco against uh, the incumbent Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Woo! John is a, John is a uh, traditional constitutionalist. He was on the, from the Liberty Arm of the um, Republican Party. And um, we're looking for everyone's support. We're trying to get back to our roots here in San Francisco. My name is Edward Gonzalez, and I'll be running against Zoe Lofgren, District 16, there you go. U.S. Congress. If you'd like to get involved in my campaign, please take as many flyers as you like. My website is on, and you can talk to both me and my campaign manager, Mr. Aaron Schiffner, in the back. Here in San Jose, I'm running on a platform of smaller government. Regardless of the political parties that are out there today, people identify themselves as Democrats or Republicans. More and more people are distrusting big government. They're looking for less government in their lives, and I'm reaching out to Democrats, Republicans, Libertarian, Greens, whatever, and I'm talking to them about the benefits of limited government. Thank you very much, and if you live in San Jose, please ask for your support. Thank you. I'm Robert Chandler. I'm running for the State Assembly, District 24. Uh, I hope to make Jim Bell the next unemployed um, assembly person. I consider myself a libertarian. I consider myself a Jeffersonian, which means smaller government, better, lower taxes, and more freedoms. Anything that is not constitutionally justified should not be part of the government. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Brad Gehring. I'm, I'm from Lodi and I'm running in CD11 against Jerry McNerney for Congress. Um, I'm running because as a business owner and a wine grape grower, my business's own has been shut down several times due to regulatory agencies and a growing government. I will, I will fight to protect our Constitution. I will fight for protecting conservative values. And I will fight for a limited government, both fiscally and in a, terms of regulatory reach. I'm uh, Jake Hamlin. I'm running in uh, State Senate District 8 up in San Mateo County against Lee Uh I'm running because 
of, you know, of all of you guys, it's really exciting. You know, I'm, I'm 25 years old, I'm a young Republican convention participant myself. It's really exciting to see you know, this level of energy, and I think that we have a new generation of people who are really ready to get involved, to make things better in California, and you know, I feel like by running, I'm creating an opportunity to do that, and you know, I want to thank all of you for coming out, those of you who are in San Mateo, I hope will be uh, supporting me, and you all can find me on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. My name is Arahita. I'm the campaign manager for Laura Beagles. He's running for Congress in District 11. He couldn't be here today due to a personal emergency. But I want to tell you that um, Robert doesn't talk about being conservative. He doesn't talk about his values. He actually lives it by his actions. Um, when he was 17, him and his wife got married um, and had their first child. And they were, honestly, they were living off food stamps. And he said that's not the life he wanted for his family. He worked hard, worked multiple jobs and got himself out of the situation. By the time he was 25, he found his first successful small business, and now at age 32, he has 10 businesses that employ people throughout the country. So he wants to run for, he's running for Congress because he is tired of seeing government hinder small businesses from succeeding, and he wants to put a stop to that. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Don Barrett, and I'm a local candidate. I'm a citizen candidate, <coughs> a local businessman and teacher, and I'm running for con Congressional District 15 against Mike Honda. And the reason that I'm running against Mike Honda is that he is one of the more far-left progressives in Congress, and he's part of that free-spending Congress which has grown our government to huge sizes and increased the deficit to $12 trillion and growing. Two of the biggest challenges facing our country, and especially the young people in our country today. So I'm running to get rid of the far-left progressive Mike Honda, replace him with a fiscal conservative who cares about the people, and not the government. And if you'd like to visit my website, it's barrageforcongress.com. And uh, one of my volunteers, Sue Glenn, is here that we have some information as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And my name is Don Wagner. I'm up here from uh, Orange County. And I am running for a assembly district you might have heard of. You might have even heard of the guy who's been turned out, unfortunately, and has left some pretty big shoes to fill. I'm running to succeed ah. Chuck DeVore. The 70th Assembly District is a great district in Orange County. It is a solid Republican district. Whoever comes out of this primary is going to go to Sacramento and is going to have the opportunity for the next six years to do what Chuck has done for the last six years, which is carry our values. I don't have a lot of time. Let me tell you why I think that's me in this race. And I'll tell you some of my friends and I'll tell you some of the enemies I've made. I am endorsed by the Orange County chapter of the Young Republicans. I'm endorsed by Atlas PAC down in Orange County, which is a pro-business PAC. I am endorsed by the longtime chairman of the Orange County Republican Party, Tom Fuentes. I'm endorsed by Michelle Malkin. I'm endorsed by Star Parker. I'm endorsed by Tony Strickland. Mark Weiland endorsed one of my opponents, pulled his endorsement and came my way. And just today, I got the endorsement of the CRA at their convention down in Orange County. 28 to 3. My principal opponent couldn't even carry his own city unanimously. That could be because the school board is now suing him in his city. I've been sued. I am currently a defendant. The Americans United for Separation of Church and State have found some uh, leftist and atheist professors to sue me in federal court. The name of the case is Westfall versus Wagner. Look it up. They don't like the fact that we start our board meetings with invocations, our graduations oh, wow. with invocations, our award ceremonies with invocations. Uh, and, and they're suing us to put a stop to it. I'm the named defendant. I've gone up against the ACLU to preserve the cross, the seal of the cross, uh, on the LA County with uh, John Eastman as uh, uh, co-counsel. So I talked way too long. Thank you. Yeah. All. That's a good promo, though. I like it. Let's say we're the mix up. <laughs> Fellow counter-revolutionaries. Uh, I'm David Harmer, a Republican candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives in the 11th Congressional District. Let's talk briefly about the things that unite all of us. We hold these truths to be Seven. that all men are created, Equal. that they are endowed by, with, that among these are, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And here's the important part, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. Shut close it. You can't stop them. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive, of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new governments for their safety and security. That's what this is all about. If you'd like to help, if this resonates with you, harmerforcongress.com or see Molly Schweiker, your colleague, on the table outside. Thank you.
Excellent. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Sam Honestead, running for lieutenant governor. Uh, I'm turned out this year after two terms in the Senate and two terms in the Assembly. I am the one who is not being renominated by Schwarzenegger or <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, my credentials, basically uh, the Capital Weekly newspaper this year voted me the most conservative senator in uh, California. For them that was not necessarily a compliment. For me that was the epitome of a 12-year career in Sacramento. Uh, I have the Jarvis Gann endorsement. I have Tom McClintock's endorsement. And uh, the fact of the matter is, is if you look at my voting record over the years, you'll see someone who has consistently uh, voted for smaller government 